Today I'm going to show you how to make a Christmas tree topper. Hey guys, it's Nikki here with Stillwater's Roots Designs. How are you today? Where's everybody watching from today? You guys, go ahead and plug in your hot glue gun and grab a six inch clear zip tie. Just grab these from Amazon. This is a red, white, and green themed Christmas tree topper. And all the picks that you see me using today, as well as the ribbon, all came from craftoutlet.com. So the very first piece that we're going to use is this really cute, fairly large green glittery spray. It's kind of like a lime green with a boatload of glitter. And it's got three stems, a lower, a middle, and an upper. And so I've just spread those out and I'm gonna straighten out the stem. So this is what we're working with. You guys are going to believe how easy this is. Next up, I've got an extra long glittery ball pick. You guys, all of these picks that we're using today come on a wire stem, so you can really shape them any way you'd like. So when it comes to you, this, this ball stem comes just like this, straight up in the air, and I'm just going to lay this right on top of the green glittery spray that we just used. And I'm not going to do anything with those ball picks just yet. So it's laying right on top. Next up, super cute velvety curly pick that's got the red, white, and green. Again, everything on the wire stem. So I'll spread those out a little bit, but we're not going to make them three dimensional just yet. And we're gonna lay that right on top. So those stems where the picks end and the stems begin, that's how I'm aligning them. And last but not least, a larger ball pick. You guys, this is crazy easy. Keep in mind guys, this is just a recipe. So choose the color schemes that you like, the picks that you like. Just remember to get variegated shapes and sizes and textures. This is what our last ball pick looks like. So this is what it's looking like. Now I'm gonna take a six inch zip tie and I'm going to secure our pick stack right in the area where the end of the stem and the beginning of the pretty parts connect. So right here. I'm gonna make that as tight as I can get it, tight, tight, tight. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to use my small wire snips and just trim off the excess bit. Now I'm gonna grab my heavy duty Work Pro cutters because we're going to trim down our stems. So now that we've trimmed down our stems, so they're essentially the same length, it's about a hand's width length for me. Now we're just going to grab some half inch wide floral wire tape. Again, another treasure from Amazon. And we're basically going to wrap our stem from directly below our zip tie all the way down. So that's a nice clean piece. And I like to come right underneath that zip tie. And then I just add about a half a pea size amount of hot glue and gently lay that floral tape right on that hot glue dollop, and I'm gonna hold it down with my scissors so I don't burn myself for about 15 seconds or so to really let that get a good grab. And then we're going to wrap our entire stem here on our tree topper. So when you wrap your floral wire tape, guys, you want it to overlap the previous row by about half, and you wanna pull that tape tight. So I'm going to take a couple of seconds here and just wrap my tree topper. I find it easier to spin the entire topper, but whatever's most comfortable for you. Make sure you're keeping that nice and tight. And then when you get to the bottom, I just add that pea size amount of glue right on top of that floral wire tape. And I wrap that tape one more time around so it's secured by the glue. And I'll use my scissors again to just press down on that tape into the glue so it gets a nice good grab. 
So this is what our tree topper looks like once we've wrapped that. See how that makes that nice and clean? Just a really professional, clean finish. And so now we're going to shape our tall ball picks, our corkscrew picks, and our short ball picks. And so all I'm going to do, we've got three of these taller ball picks, and I'm just going to form them basically into a candy cane shape. So I have one laying on either side, and then one that I'll shape right here in the middle. And guys, you know, sky's the limit. You can really form that as you wish. So this is what it's looking like. Then fluff out the other two sprays. Just like that. So it's three dimensional, and then flat on the back. Oh, these are just two standard 12 inch pipe cleaners. I'm gonna cross them over one another into an X at the top, so they're about an inch and a half there, and then I'm just gonna twist one around the other. And basically we're just making an elongated pipe cleaner, just like that. And then I like to fold it into a loose V so that I can identify that center point and set it off to the side. We're gonna use three different types of wired ribbon. You always wanna make sure you are using wired ribbon when you make any bows, um, whether it's for a tree topper, a wreath, a swag, a lantern, whatever, because a wired ribbon is going to hold its shape. So we're gonna start out with a two and a half inch polka dot, and I'm going to make a 24 inch tail. We're gonna make two four inch loops. And I'm going to cut off my second tail at 24 inches as well. And at this point, guys, I'm just going to eyeball those tails. I want it about two inches shorter than the previous. So I'm adding that right on top of my previous loops. And I'm going to make these loops about an inch and a half shorter. And it's messy at first, guys. Trust the process. And last but not least, we're going to use this super cute one and a half inch Merry Christmas ribbon. This one actually came from Hobby Lobby. So this is what it looks like, guys. Again, not pretty. Just trust the process. Now we'll take that pipe cleaner and we're going to wrap that right around our bow stack here. You want the ties to be on the back side of the bow. Just twist, 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 twist. Now I'm going to take my scissors and trim all of the ends. I'm going to angle trim them. So I'm just going to come up about an inch on one side and then cut diagonally to the corner. Now I'm just going to take a quick second here and I'm just going to pull all of my tails down so they're going in the same direction. Not going to fluff out my loops yet. So as you can see, still not pretty guys. Now we're going to grab our tree topper. I'm going to add that bow right above, immediately above where that zip tie is on our tree topper. So I'm just gonna hold it in place, flip the whole thing over, that's why we didn't fluff it out yet, because I knew we would squish it. And then you're gonna take that pipe cleaner and give it three or four tight, tight twists. I like to run a little bit of glue right where the pipe cleaner meets our tree topper. We're gonna give that about 30 seconds to dry. Once that hot glue is dry, we're gonna flip our tree topper around and we're just going to open up those loops. So the two and a half inch loops are going to go horizontally and then the one and a half inch loops, remember we have one of each type of ribbon, we're just going to separate them into an X pattern and then take our hands and open them up so they're nice and full. Once you've got those loops fluffed out, go ahead and grab a leftover cardboard insert from 10 inch deco mesh and I use this to curl my wired ribbon. So all you're going to do guys is take that wired ribbon, start at the bottom of your tube and roll that up kind of like a curling iron all the way to the center of that bow and then release. When you release you've got this cute little curly cue. You can curl each ribbon tail as many times as you'd like. So if you curl your ribbon and it's not tight enough for you, just recurl it. And that is it, you guys. Look how stinking cute this tree topper is. That's all there is to it, guys. One tree topper down.